I have given a name to my pain. Now, welcome to episode number 33 of the Batman on Film vlog, which that name will be changing soon. So we're going to wait <laughs> till everything is uh, everything is ready before we uh, drop that on y'all. So uh, um, anyway, here we are. We're going to talk hey. a little bit of Joker, and with me today is uh, is Justin Kowalski. Hey, man, how how uh, how you doing, sir? I'm good, man. I'm I'm excited to be uh, back on a vlog. Okay, I, so. I I'm happy for you to be here and um, and no Rick, no Rick, <laughs> no Rick, no Rick. Sorry, guys. Whew. Okay, oh. we love you, Rick. Okay, yeah. All right, Rick is busy with uh, soccer games and all kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, I was going to try to get all four of us on. And Ryan is uh, he's working today. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ryan is working, so it's me and you. But we're going to talk some Joker. But before I do that, let me mention uh, our Patreon account. Mm -hmm. If you like what we do here at Batman on Film, uh, we do a lot of stuff. It's not just Batman on Film. You know, we do comics and these vlogs, the podcast, um, Star Wars, Star Wars. <laughs> we drop movie reviews. I mean, all kind of stuff. I mean, we're yeah. we're, we're very Batman centric. But you know, we spread out. But check all that stuff out if you like it. Uh, hit us up over at patreon.com slash Batman on film and um, Justin you got anything you want to mention about patreon because I know we're making some changes yeah we'll be making some changes so um as the you know the, the different levels you can you know jump in on hey there you go yeah you can get some stickers sent to you buttons uh, we're trying to do some you know small rewards for for those that kind of jump in at the lower tiers and then as you get higher up in the tier um, there's different there will be different rewards like you can uh, guest on a show, you might even be able to come on a vlog with Bill Ramey. How about that? That's that would be, that's a big that's, deal. Guess, that's, <laughs> that's the gold standard right there. So yeah, me and Ryan are banging out all the details on it, okay. but uh, we should have it probably within the next few weeks, okay. like the standard. But yeah, if you can get some sweet BOF swag, and yeah, that that'll be a continual thing as things, uh, you know, just different things will always be added to the pot. So we got um, we got T-shirts, of course. Yeah. We have the stickers, uh, the 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 pins are on their way. We are have little pins, same logo, and you know what? I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff. We'll, we'll yeah, we'll get some we'll get stuff, some, some insider stuff. 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 Yeah, yeah, some, absolutely. Maybe some dad gum pins. Yeah, oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. All right, all right. Let's let's talk about this Joker movie yeah. with Joaquin Phoenix. Now, Justin, am I wrong? Or correct me if I'm wrong. You weren't all that hip on it when it first started happening. Am I am I right or wrong? Or are you going, or how, or are you just wait and see mode on it? What was your um, what was I your think whole stance? I was, when I initially heard about it? I was. I just feel like it's confusing to people. And in fact, I was talking to my buddy about it yesterday. He said, "Hey, did you see the new Joker trailer?" Because <laughs> he's not a comic guy. He's just yeah. He's he's what we would call, you know, just general movie goer, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, no, that was just kind of a thing that the studio put out. I go, you know, to be honest, I don't know why. It was probably to beat, you know, leaked set reports or whatever. And he's like, oh. He's like, so what's this all about? Anyways, to get into it, he was confused. He's like, wait, so there's two Jokers going on. Yeah, but I explained it, and he's like, okay, well, sounds good. But anyways, I, that's where I kind of sat. It's going to be confusing to people, um, and I don't... You know, I didn't want this. Yeah, <laughs> that's where I was. Yeah. So you know, yeah. fast forward to to now, I'm really excited about it because I think as as you're as it's coming out, the information. Yeah. It's not just this uh, this kind of one off like uh, hey, we're doing a Joker film and it's going to be about the Joker. It's I feel like it's almost Joker just in title. I think it's yeah. just going to be really weird movie yeah um, yeah i don't know so that i mean that's that's where i generally at and i'm just, my interest is picked you know i'm yeah. like Ooh, i want to i want to check this out 
So, yeah, I'm with you. I mean, I, I've always thought that I thought the idea, and I don't know what they're calling, you know, we call it sometimes referred to as black label DC on film, but I don't yeah. think there's a really a name for it. But these... I think they should. Yeah, that would be cool. It would Just be to cool. keep the, the branding in. Yeah, well, there's not even a name for the DC on film proper, <laughs> but well, anyway, whatever. Yeah. Um, but... I, I like the fact that they were going to do something different. I mean, it's different. It's different. And um, these one-offs where you take these characters from DC lore and just do something, I don't want to say crazy, but do something really different. And you're not, yeah. you're not beholden to comic book history and continuity and so forth like that. And look, I may not like, I may, maybe I like some, maybe I won't like the others, but yeah. I, I applaud them for doing something different instead of, what they did with this previous, when you know, with the Justice League, Man of Steel, and all that, mm -hmm. they were trying to copy what Marvel did instead of doing their own thing. But that's another topic. So, back to Joker, um, I, I I didn't, I, I've never been one of those. I was kind of like, okay, this is interesting. And when 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 Joaquin Phoenix came on board, that's when I started saying, okay, I think I can I can get behind this because yeah. this, this dude doesn't take just any role. He's very yeah. picky. And he wouldn't take this if it was, if it was anything remotely like we've seen before with, it, whether it be, uh, you know, Leto and Suicide Squad, or of course Heath Ledger, Dark Knight, mm -hmm. or, or Jack Nicholson, or, or, or Cesar Romero for that matter. It's got to be something yeah. very unique and different. And that video really, yeah. really shows you it's different. So you saw it yesterday. What'd you think, man? I mean, yeah, I, it, again, it just kind of solidified, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just the weirdness of it. And I, yeah. <laughs> side note, I just really like weird things. So if it's yeah. weird and, and kind <laughs> yeah. of in the, er, that's why I like Batman Returns so much. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, it's weird. Um, it, it just feels like um, the tone and the creepiness of the it's song creepy. and, yeah. and uh, just how he changes his, like, his facial, like, yeah. you know, visage on a dime. Like, oh, or maybe it was kind of the slow burn of like madness, and uh, yeah, man. I again, that thing just kind of put another like notch in like my excitement for. It. I'm like, okay, this they're doing something. Yeah, it's you know. Yeah, and I can't I can't speak too much because we don't know too much. I mean, you know a little yeah. bit, but we don't know like it everything. Seems to be so. yeah, they're going for kind of uh, king of comedy, taxi driver. Yeah type of deal and um gritty it's set in the 80s um yeah you know i never thought and it, okay it reminds me what did you think i mean the makeup part when okay he's, when he's jokers what 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 did you think about that because yeah different. i mean it, it's way it's hard, different you know yeah well it's hard it's hard not to compare it to like you know ledger's you know, kind of the smeared on look. It's, it's obviously a different take on it, but yeah. it, it's hard. It's hard not to make that comparison. Like, oh, it's it's similar to that. You know, applied. You know, it's it's not perma white or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. I never, but, uh, thought, I, I never thought with this movie he was going to fall into a vat of acid and. Be no, I didn't think that I, either. Yeah, this yeah. this is kind of along the lines I thought. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff online are people. It doesn't look like the Joker. Or yeah. like, I, I, I'm not even there yet, man. I'm like, it's a makeup test. It could be. He could have. 100 different painted faces in this movie who knows we just don't know uh that's, that's an idea maybe it, maybe it changes yeah you know, you know maybe it changes from yeah from every time he puts on the joker makeup maybe yeah. it's a different deal you know yeah so if i but if i switch my hat into like a marketing branding type of person i would i would probably have got not put the blue dot on the nose. I think yeah. I think that <laughs> it sounds silly, but that's where a lot of people are like, the hey, Joker doesn't have that. Typically, yes, he he doesn't have that. But you you can do iterations. Like what was the the Dark Prince Charming that just yeah. came out? Yeah. Uh, Joker's got the the triangle, you know, on yeah. his eyes. Yeah. And you know, sometimes you want to take a little bit of you know creative freedom. Go for it. You know, yeah. it's when if you capture the spirit of the Joker in this film. We're not. We're all going to be okay with it. We like. And that's, I, I think that's the thing. It can be. I think it's going to be really different. Really, really, really different. But you, if you just you capture this, like you, you capture the spirit of the Joker, mm. then that makes it legitimate. You know. Yeah. Um. 
So it is legitimate. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's just it's it was. Uh, I thought it was really. It just it, it's kind of creeped me out a little bit. The whole thing, yeah. you know, even him without the makeup, just standing there and that the light or the flash of the of the images of the Joker clown or whatever yeah. coming over, and then it then it then it's the you know in the makeup and like you said his that subtlety of his facial expressions it was just yeah i was like man this is this is I, i'm on i'm on board with this i think a lot yeah. of fans justin and i i want to get your take on this mm. can't they think they're still thinking comic book movie with this yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it's it's this is not what it, that is i mean it's it's yeah 50 million dollar budget it's gonna be released in october it's smaller mm-hmm. scale they're not trying to set up a franchise or a series. Yeah. It's it's a one off. So, what yeah, do you, you think see about a lot that? of that. Yeah, um, man, there's so many different like you know tethers on that because I I saw a lot yesterday. If this does well, he's gonna replace you know Ledger and all this other stuff, and he's gonna be you know back ended into Matt Reeves' movie. And I just no, that's not. Here's the thing: I Warner Brothers wants it to be a success. I I get that. The low budget almost guarantees it's going to make money, like whether it makes one billion dollars or you know two hundred million, you know yeah. domestic. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna turn a profit for them, and I think it's smart for them to take this this avenue of like, hey, let's let's do these one off indie almost films with uh you know our property and see what happens. That's that's the first part of it. It's not going to be Matt Reeves' Joker, like no. I, no. I feel like Matt Reeves is like, I got my plan how I want to do it. Yeah, um, you know, if he, yeah, if he even wants to use the Joker, ex- exactly, yeah. like it. He, that's not a thing, you know. Uh, even if it make the big the big thing is like, well, if it makes a billion dollars, doesn't matter. Well, that's not what Matt Reeves signed on for. So yeah, you know, then he walks. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, the other side of it is, um, you know, I would challenge the thought of a comic book movie to to some of these people because comics are all over the place. You can do these crazy gritty uh, comic books. Yeah. Of you know, I feel like what Lee Bermejo did with his Joker. And Joker. That, yeah. You know, it didn't read like a, a typical comic book. So no. let's challenge the thought of comic book movie. Like comic book movie um, is almost, uh, you know, I feel like a, f- a few more years. Comic book movie encapsulates a lot. You get, mm. you, you can have crime, you can have comedy, you can have whatever you want under the the banner of comic book movie. So if someone's all, this isn't a comic book movie. I'm like, yeah, it is. Just read a different comic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but I understand what you're saying. Where, where some of these, well, you know, it's also they can't. It's like you can't have Joker without. It's things like that. It's so. Yeah. Um, I don't want to call these folks narrow-minded, but it's it, yeah. it's it's thinking. It's not thinking outside the bubble. We can't yeah. have Joker without Batman. You can't. Yeah. You know this and that and. Well, you can. And I, and I get yeah. that. I get. And, yeah, I, and, I, and, I, and understand. I understand it, but we don't even know there could yeah. be a cape at the end of this movie, and, and there you go. You know, yeah. I, I've I've seen a lot of comparisons to the the Venom movie that's coming out in a couple of weeks because you know the. Going into it, the the whole vibe is like, oh, Spider Man's not in it, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And and I and here's I understand that because I'm like, yeah, man, like, Spider Man is crucial to <laughs> the Venom character, like, you know, being around. Um, and the same with Joker, but Joker is kind of Joker is bigger. Like, Joker is bigger than all you know all these other characters. I would say Joker, you know, is tons times bigger than the character of Venom, right? Oh, yes. He's you the, can. You he's so, the greatest comic book villain. Yes. Of all time. You can yeah. clap you can platform him yeah. in his own film and Batman doesn't have to be in it. Yeah. You know, there can be traces or hints of Batman, you know, the shadow of Batman can loom over it. But yeah. um, if you're trying to do an interesting character study on a character, yeah, like, like calm down, like, you know, get off the keyboard and just let it play out because I think we're going to be surprised by something really interesting and it's going to be a little one-off thing you can put in your pocket and be like, man, that was a crazy Joker movie. Or that was a terrible Joker movie. We don't know. Well, I mean, that's it could, true. It could be absolutely terrible. We don't know. But right now, I would just, you know. Yeah, I'm just not going to write it off. Yeah. I, I won't do that. To, I've learned not to do that. And, you know, some things interest me more than others. But I always give them a chance. If I go see it, don't like it, well, that's the way it is. Or if I'm lukewarm on it and I go see it and I love it, that's that's awesome too so i'm just excited to see i think the way they've um teased us with this stuff you know the 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 first they you know released the the image of joaquin phoenix as arthur arthur fleck yeah you know that that him even standing there in that picture he looks he kind of creeps me out yeah in the the last second 
of that video. Yeah. Sorry, to interrupt. No, you. no, no. He his face goes from really like this goofy grin yeah. to very dour. Yeah. Last shot, and I'm like, yeah. man, it, it does. It, it evokes a feeling in me already, and I kind of like, man, if this is the tone, this is gonna be. I'm just pumped on it, man. I, I I'll make a prediction. This will be the most violent Joker we've seen on the big screen. I'm oh wow! Well, yeah. I, I figure this will. Be, I bet you it's R-rated, uh, and I wouldn't. Oh yeah. yeah, it. I think it has to be R-rated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, y you have to have the freedom to, especially the way they're you know they're going about making these movies. Um, I'm not saying all of them have to be R-rated, but a character like the Joker, if you're going to explore him, you know, in this yeah. kind of a, a you know real setting, uh, you got to have you know as as least <laughs> restrictions as possible you know you want to be able to to show the, like the insanity and you know the, you know the murderous side obviously yeah. you know because with with all the in the um influences they're talking about you know he's gonna he's gonna be uh, there's gonna be some bloodshed and it you know it, it might even be the most disturbing like yeah. uh comic book movie <laughs> yeah. i'll throw a comic book movie back in the in the arena it yeah. might be one of the most disturbing things you know people yeah. may be like i don't know man i didn't feel good watching that i i yeah. that's what i want from this really i really kind yeah. of want that be able to watch this and go you know i really like this but it i was like you know kind of stick to my stomach the whole time i was, I yeah. was watching it because that's that kind of film incites that kind of emotion in you then you know you got something that's pretty pretty dadgum good so yeah I would just say to folks, look, you don't have to immediately like it just because it's DC and Joker, okay? Yeah. That, that's something I, I don't like either. Just just because they're giving you this doesn't mean that you have to like it. But I would at least keep a keep a you know keep an open mind about it and yeah. go see it, and we'll see what happens in a year. I mean, basically, mm -hmm. we've got a year for that for this comes out. So yeah. Let me ask you this, kind of yeah. the same vein. What was there another villain, a DC villain, or a character you would like to see get this treatment, this black label on film, yeah. DC on film treatment? <laughs> yeah. I, that's how I referred to it. Going back to it, I mean, I thought, well, what could you do with Lex? Could you do a like yeah. Wall Street type of? I was, movie I was actually going to go to the Lex. Lex yeah. would be the, the next one you can probably do a uh, a character study on. Um, but it would be, it, man. The the Batman villains do. I feel like they rise above the others. Obviously, um, with their stories, you know, they all have some type of tragic, uh, you know, yeah. narrative to them. Um, there was a. There's a. I don't know if anyone wants to go see a Penguin movie, but hear me out. <laughs> there, there is especially if you have the uh, the new DC Universe app. Um, there's a Penguin. I think it's like a three issue mini called. Uh, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't even know the name of the title, whatever. It's a Penguin book, and it's a little mini, and it came out when the New 52 came out, but it was a really great origin story for the Penguin. Yeah, man, I think, and it, I remember it being pretty moving, so maybe that, that would be a, you know, maybe just make a TV show of that, I don't know, like maybe a 90-minute, like, special, but uh, I think that would be interesting. Two-Face, yeah, um, right? I mean, especially before their... Uh, their years before they interact with Batman, I think that's the, you know, that's uh, you interesting know, stuff. How about a, you know, Two Face? You do a legal, some kind of legal crime drama with Harvey Dent. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just going off the cuff here. Just yeah, you know, I, I I'm not as, I'm not yeah. creative like that. But I, I would like to see them take some more chances with other. Yeah. And I think if I think if this Joker film is a success. And, and clearly, making making a billion dollars is not the is not the goal for this film. Yeah, it's not know? the benchmark. Yeah, <laughs> um, if it's a success and people uh, are warm to it, I think you'll see we'll see more of this. Maybe you yeah. know, not just Batman characters. There could even be obscure DC heroes that yeah. you could do some of this kind of well, stuff with. That's what I was going to say. Like you know, um, it, it opens the door up to things like maybe they can do that Superman Red Sun. Yeah. Or maybe they can do Dead Man. Yeah. You know, oh, or they, I'd love they, to see a Dead Man. Yeah, you know, they can yeah. do like Phantom Stranger, just yeah. some weird stuff. Uh, stuff yeah. that doesn't have to tie into, you know, the the mainstream universe type of building yes. stuff. Dig into the Spectre. Do you Spec like some... I, dude, I was thinking Spectre. Yeah, like, like all yeah. all the yeah. weird horror stuff they can probably yeah. get into. I would I would love to see 
um, Spectre that, and Dead you know, Man are like on my they're yeah. up at my top of things I'd like to see. Yeah, you know, I, I like seeing Dead Man just in the Batman Dan book that came out last yeah, week. It's yeah, cool just yeah. to see Dead Man in there yeah. a second. Um, um, he'd be a really cool character to explore, you know. Yeah, I thought Dead stuff. Man could always work on TV as, and I would want to do it like on cable, you know, like yeah, you see like Breaking Bad and all that stuff. And um, do, do you remember Quantum Leap? That TV show? Um, I remember. I didn't. I didn't ever saw it though. Okay. I remember. I know the idea of it. The guy, the guy he, he jumped through he time. Jumped, he jumped in time through, and he would become. He would jump into someone's body, and it was. It was. It was a. It was a light type of show, but it was. You know, always had some kind of mission to for good to happen. Mm -hmm. But I could always see a TV show like that with Dead Man, where he, you know, that's because that's what he does. He yeah. He inhabits the body of someone and you know some kind of horror type you know dark story you know you've got man like walking dead you know you can do all that yeah. stuff on tv but anyway just yeah no that, again that's that's what i think is really cool scattered, about this idea shooting here but yeah yeah all right so we're our, our initial thoughts of joker are we liked what we saw with the video in the first picture we're interested in seeing what they where they go with this mm -hmm. um I don't want them to show too much, you know. Yeah. I, want, I want to be surprised for the film. So I was surprised they put well, what they put out yesterday. You know, yeah, yeah. like yeah. that was that was yeah. really interesting. So did, um, real quick, did you, are you you have the app right, the DC app? Yeah, I've had it. What's yeah. What's your initial uh, opinion on it? Oh man, I actually think it's great. Um, you know, I've had it since the beta test. So being able to just you know read the comics on there, watch the movies. Um, I feel like they just keep adding more comics and stuff to it. Uh, I think the value's there, and they haven't even put the the shows that they're making for it. So Titans, that still has another month before that even okay. you know drops on there. So all the Is shows that releasing all at once, like like no. Netflix or okay once a week. So every Friday there'll be a new episode of Titans. And I think Fridays is what they said is when they're going to drop new episodes. So once Titans is over, I think they'll move into like Swamp Thing or Doom Patrol. Yeah, I don't know what's is, next. When do, when do they cut? You don't have any idea when they're going to No, because they're still – I think they're still in production on Doom Patrol. Yeah. And they – I think they're in pre on Swamp Thing is from okay. what I was reading. So uh, it'll probably be a bit before all those shows get out. And they'll probably have like a – I think they're just going to cycle through. I don't know if they're all going to be on at the same time. But uh, they've got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. They just cast Stargirl. So for okay. the Star Wars show, and um, yeah, man, I, I'm I'm actually really excited for some of these shows. I know Titans got a lot of uh, heat from Comic Con, but um, they just put another clip out last week, and it was Dick Grayson and Jason Todd oh, kind of meet. Yeah. Um. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know. Again, it kind of goes back to the open mind. Like initially, like I feel like they hit that that CW vibe, which I'm kind of over. Yeah. And I think that's what that's where I was on it. I'm like, oh, I'm. I'm going to wait and see right now, you know, like, because uh, what I don't want to do is go, this is garbage, and then, oh, man, actually, we like that, you know, <laughs> like, we just need to stop that in, in fandom a little bit, like, sometimes it is, like, we'll see, <laughs> yeah. it's okay to be, like, yeah. I feel like it was questionable how they, they presented it, I was like, well, that's, you know, you got all these Titans fans, they have a certain, Titans fans are, like, they're, they're hardcore, and they yeah. have a certain expectation, and I don't think they delivered what, um, you know, the Titans fans want to see, but... Um, let's see what happens. I'm excited okay. for it, but I think the value is there, Bill. Um, you have all, I mean, some of us may own most of the stuff. You yeah. know, they have all the Batman movies. They have all the yeah. Batman movies, except Rises isn't on there yet. It might okay. be tied up in like an HBO or something right now. Probably, yeah. Uh, they have all the, uh, Re the Reeves Superman movies. Chris, uh, Superman Returns isn't on there. Um, oh, it's none not, of the, wow, okay. Yeah, not yet. Um, but, uh, it's got, you know, the 90s Flash show, all the, the Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, George Reeves, uh, Superman, even uh, the Kirk Allen Superman serials. Oh, uh, okay. Man, I mean, it, it goes deep. And so there there's so much content on there um, that, you know, you can you know, watch all day and, and not hit a repeat. And so no Batman 66 yet, uh, but they do have the Batman 66 animated films on there. Okay. So, I, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out. Yeah, it's great. I know, I know people have been asking if we're going to do or just a general review of the app. So there you go. There it is on this blog <laughs> right you here. Go. And uh, I know we want to cover Titans, so we'll yeah we'll definitely have make sure someone is reviewing those for um, for Batman on film. All right. Um, yeah, and then, uh, Brian Edward Hill said he'd come back too. Cool. Okay. Uh, to talk about it because he worked on that show as well. Yeah. So last thing about that because I saw it. I saw your 
your tweet. Is Batman going to be in this thing? Or yeah, what, what, I mean, it looks like they have... Oh, gosh. So, uh, I guess some lighting test footage you know, came out, okay. or an image of just some makeshift Batman suit. It literally, it's the Batman Returns cow with the, yeah. with the logo. Is it, for, out. is it for real? I mean, I mean, or is it someone, someone like trying to do a goof it, and? Um, you know, it's from what I looked at, it looked like it was a, a real deal. Like, hey, we're doing a lighting test. You know, I don't think Batman's in the show. I think it's going to be kind of how Superman was in Supergirl the first season, kind of from be backlit or you know, there's his hand reaching yeah. out. But who knows, man? You know, I know they're it, they're really their their anal as can be about Batman. Yeah. Batman himself being yeah. in other things besides uh, uh, live action film or, you know, in film. So we'll see. I, I, I'll give it a shot, this Titans. Yeah. I mean, the Justice Society is going to be in the Stargirl show. So, mm. I mean. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, It's like Dr. Midnight and all of those old school yeah, Justice Jeff, Society characters. Yeah, Jeff John said that um, you're going to see some Justice Society characters. I think he mentioned... Um, Oh, gosh, I'm pretty sure he mentioned like Jay Garrick, like Golden yeah. Age Flash and stuff yeah. like that. So we'll see. They should, we'll see what they happens. should do Golden Age Green Lantern with the whole red and red. Oh yeah, puffy just shirt looking, big, <laughs> big Elvis collar, cape yeah. and all that stuff. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right, that'd be great. Right. Okay. All right then, Justin. Let's plug some stuff. Go ahead. Whatever you got. Yeah, uh, you know, I just put another episode of uh, Let's Go Comic Show. We talked about Batman Damned and, you know, some of the app stuff we just talked about. So uh, if you want to check that out, please head to letsgopodcast.com. You can hear it. Did you like Batman Damned? I actually did. I did. I think that, um, you know, you know, Ryan called it. He texted me a couple of days before it came out. He's all, everyone's going to be talking about, you know, the Batwing instead of the actual story. And I think it got overshadowed a yeah. little bit by that. But, um, yeah, I thought it was good. I'm, I'm excited to see the next two. Again, it's a different. It's just a different take. Like Joker's dead. Like I'm already like intrigued by that. And yeah. you know, I'm not a huge Constantine guy, but I like when he's written well. And you I know, like Constantine. I like that TV yeah. show. I wish it had been on. Yeah, the, the show was pretty okay. I wish it was on something else besides NBC. Yeah. Like Friday primetime. That that would have been another one you could put out on. AMC you know what? All that. Yeah. I don't mind the Keanu Reeves Constantine movie. I get he's not a Brit. Yeah. But. Take that out of it, and it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, but our, you, know. <laughs> you know, our good friend Michael Uslan was uh, one of the producers on that on that film. Matter, yeah, matter you know what? Well, one of the things on the app, I'll, I'll talk about this. They do these uh, little intros. If you watch, yeah. say you were Batman eighty nine, and um, they have Ralph Garman. He's hosting this thing about the history of Batman eighty nine, and they they mispronounce uh, Uslan. Mm -hmm. So he needs to hit them up and let them know. Hey, there's a way to pronounce my name. You like his? Uh, <laughs> you like his little uh, history lessons? He's been oh yeah dropping on. Batman yeah, that's good stuff. I, yeah, I think that's great. He's he's going to do more for it. So oh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah good. those are fun. All right Love then. It. Anything else you got? You want to mention? Uh, no, we just uh, you know we're gonna do an actual uh, Red Hood uh, podcast review. Of uh, the comics and the the movie, since that since the DC Universe is app, it's on there. Okay. So it'll be me and Ryan and Paul Herman are gonna All right, hit good. The, probably in a couple of weeks. That'll be on there. So read Red Hood uh, if if you haven't, and it's it's actually it's on the app. So the movie and the comics are on there. So uh, check that out. What so. kind? Of, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. Let's yeah. get let's get the heck out of here. Um, yeah. so we talk Joker. Uh, Justin gave you a good short review of the DC app. And mm -hmm. uh, what else we talk about? Oh, we talked about um, uh, Batman Damned, and we went off on other kind of tangents. So, again, there you go. Hope you enjoyed yeah. the vlog. And uh, all right, you ready, Justin? Let's do this. Here we go. Batman all right. On film. Authoritative. Definitive. Definitive. And come on, tell me. The dad gum original. There you go. All right. Thanks. Go. Thanks for watching, and we'll check you next time. All right.